top spots for crabs. Now, I had originally written this、uh, for a magazine called "Yes, It Is Food" magazine, the magazine for watchers of television food programs, and the purpose of the magazine was to take television food programs and put them into the magazine. I am now going to recreate for you exactly how it should have sounded had it been a television food program. At the Wisconsin Crab Hut, Chef Danny has a special that's sure to make the crab lovers salivate for crabs. He starts with only the freshest live crabs and a recipe for cooking them. He adds steam, some spices, and then plates it all with a garnish of curly parsley. Voila, the Wisconsin Crab Hut special. Thank you, Jonathan. At the Crab Palace in Florence, Massachusetts. Chef Tim starts with fresh picked crab. That's crab without the shell to you and me. He then briefly pan fries it in butter, adds heavy cream, some salt, pepper, and spices, and voila, you have crab with a European bistro twist. Thank you, Jonathan. You might be surprised to learn that the crab place in Columbus, Ohio, does not actually serve crabs at all. But this joint's funky atmosphere and use of mallets will sure remind you of one that does. Yup, those are real license plates and old street signs on the walls, right next to the old black and white pictures of crabs. Thank you, Jonathan. At the Crab Bunker in Atlanta, Georgia, you can catch your own crabs. Every night, the live crabs are set loose throughout the restaurant, sometimes attacking children. Please. No dogs or seagulls allowed. What's that you say? A restaurant that serves only hermit crab? Well, that describes St. Paul's Crab Town to a T. The hermit crabs are freshly prepared using boiling water. Crush them whole at your table and find the meat using your own jeweler's glass. You don't have to be a recluse from society to enjoy these crabs. Thank you, Jonathan. Locals know the blue crabs, a kind of crab, are great at the crab spot in Short Hills, New Jersey. But it's the giant Alaskan crab legs that have them driving for miles around. Previously frozen, the three-foot gigantic legs are thawed, cooked with spices, doused in 151 proof rum, set on fire, and then shoved into a four-pound individual cheesecake. Mmm, crabs. Thank you, Jonathan. Sure, you've heard of Clams Casino, but Crabs Casino—that's the name of the game at the Crab Sweat Lodge at the Arrowhead Resort and Casino on the Pequot Reservation in Southern Connecticut, where the Admiral's Buffet serves, get this, crab cakes. They're available 24 hours a day, five dozen for a nickel. Foster's Market in Greenfield, Massachusetts, may look like an ordinary supermarket. But work your way back through the funky down-home aisles of food, and you'll soon discover the counter manned by Chef Billy. He's got something special up his sleeve. Chef Billy's seafood salad starts with chopped stalks of fresh celery, some lemon juice and spices, and then sea legs. What? I've heard of gigantic Alaskan crab legs, but what the heck are these? Basically. It's pollock or some other white fish that's formed and colored and flavored to stand in when crab is not available, says Chef Billy. That's right, imitation crab. And here comes the secret ingredient: mayonnaise. But this isn't your average mayo. Chef Billy's comes from a plastic 10-gallon tub with a picture of an Indian on it. Now I love mayonnaise, but I've never seen anything quite like this. Basically, they find it's more cost-effective to buy it that way. What? That's it. From coast to coast, supermarkets to restaurants, old-fashioned crab shacks to European-style bistros, there's a lot to get crabby about crabs. Thank God that's over. <laughs>